Hey, how's it going? Dylan here, and today I've got another Blu-ray haul for you, quite a big one. Alright, I've got quite a few titles for today's video, and I uh, haven't done one in a while mainly camera equipment. I'm testing out a new lens right now, so hopefully this will be working really good. All right, so first up, we have a an Australian film, so quite local, quite small, won quite a few awards, uh, including uh, cinematography at the ACS Awards in here in South Australia, which I attended recently, so I decided to pick this one up, which is Hounds of Love. Uh, it's got um, quite a few Australian actors, uh, Emma Booth, Ashley Cummings, Stephen Curry it's from last year and it's got really good reviews I haven't had a chance to watch it yet and I've got standard information on the back and inside even for a local release you get some nice disc art which is always good I really like to see that really looking forward to watching this one I grabbed a couple of newer releases uh, at some of the Christmas sales going on recently in the last few weeks I grabbed Life, which I really enjoyed, and I did a review of on my channel. I'll put the link below. Um, I went to see the premiere of this, and I, it was pretty good. Uh, not amazing by any stretch, but great fast paced thriller. Um, some kind of tense moments there, and really cool cinematography. And stand it back. And unfortunately, because it's um, done by these guys, we just get a blue disc art, which is disappointing, but it's okay. Better than Village Roadshow. Everything, yes. Next up, we have another one that I went to see the screening for earlier this year and really enjoyed, which is A Cure for Wellness. Gore Verbinski film. Really strange film. Kind of uncomfortable, a lot of scenes. Um, I went to the cinema for this one and there was an old couple sitting next to me. It was great. Um, kind of stand it back. Really looking forward to watching this one again. And no, not really any discard as well, so poor form. Definitely pick that one up though if you're into kind of uh, horror y thrillers, uh, spooky atmosphere, and weird mystery type things. Kind of similar to Shutter Island, I guess, would be the closest thing I can compare it to. Okay, so next up we have a couple of ones I grabbed this week. I grabbed in the sales uh, finally a copy of Rogue One which I've been wanting to get one for ages, but for some reason in Australia, it's always like $50 or $45. Absolutely ridiculous. Grab this one for 20. Um, standard back. It's only the single disc Blu-ray, which has no special features, but um, I'm not that keen on them at the moment. At least we get some nice disc art. And, uh, kind of got that one to prepare for episode seven, which comes out next week. Really looking forward to that one. Now this next one is a really cool special edition and it's only available in Australia with this lenticular cover. So it is Legion, season one. And I wonder if this will pick up on the camera, but it's got an awesome 3D effect, lenticular. Um, I believe the US release has been delayed and indefinitely. So this is probably actually the best edition you can find around the world at the moment, which is pretty funny because Australia never gets any good exclusives. So nice lenticular. Inside case is just the standard non lenticular version, obviously. And we get two discs, no disc art. I just finished up watching that actually, and I really enjoyed that one. It was a really fantastic series. I'd watched like a few episodes earlier in the year, but uh, kind of never got around to finishing it. So this was a really good chance to grab it. Um, and for only not that much money, it came out pretty well. All right, lastly but not least, we have four more steelbooks from Zavi.com, which I've been really enjoying using recently uh, because they have such good designs. First up, I have this wicked design, Apocalypse Now um, steelbook, really glossy, insanely red and fantastic. Really pleased with this one. It's actually the three disc special edition. Uh, well, the back is red as well. And inside, we have all three discs there, which is fantastic because uh, I saw it and I had to get it. It was only about 10 bucks, so 
Xavier put on some really good sales every now and again. Next, I have another absolutely fantastic cover um, from Zavi.com uh, Steelbook or Zavi.co.uk. Just Kung Fu Hustle, the Gallery 1988 series design. Just look at that colour. It's just just jumps out at you. Uh, it's a really cool design, and inside we just get the standard kind of thing. Love that movie. Uh, next we have um, still book three or four, which is an Australian classic made in my own state here, and the sequel is made here, and the TV series is also made here. I know a lot of the people that made it. Um, Wolf Creek, which is great, love it. Um, fantastic Australian film, uh, or horror-y kind of thriller. Um, really good performances inside of this one here, and yes. I see the irony of importing something from the UK for an Australian film made in your own state, but there's really not that good versions available here. And lastly, we have last still book, High Rise, which is a film which I've um, watched the other night. Wasn't amazed by it really, but I kind of like the cover. It was really cool pop art style. And the inside. And uh, that's about it for today's haul. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and as always, if you did enjoy, then leave a like, leave a comment if you have any suggestions, stuff that I should buy, and uh, in general, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll try and get more videos more often. It's just a very busy time at the moment, coming up to Christmas, obviously. Uh, but hopefully I can kind of get going again and um, do some more reviews uh, especially some Ultra HD reviews because I've gotten a few of those now and I really want to start analysing them. Nice, enjoy!